All right, so this is going to be a Costco item review of this artesano uh, bakery bread. So price of this, $5.59. All right, um, this is the original. Okay, one uh, per serving is one slice. All right, 110 calories, no saturated fat. There's 200 milligrams of sodium, 9%, and 2 grams of total sugars. There we go. Artesano bakery bread. Here you can see it's good until January 5th, 2024, and this was purchased on uh, December 26th. So you don't have long to eat this. Uh, make sure to eat it quick. That's only, what, like 10, 10 days or so? All right, always baked without artificial um, colors, flavors, and preservatives. No high fructose corn syrup. Net weight, one pound, four ounces. Um, and I think that's if you left it outside, so you might want to keep it in the fridge. Okay, this is Alfaro's. Okay, Alfaro's Artesano Bakery. All right, so this is going to be a Costco item review of this Alfaro's Artesano Bakery Bread. All right, this was, let's see here, there we go, uh, $5.59. So let's take a look. Here you can see Alfaro's, the original, uh, per one slice serving, 110 calories, no fat, no saturated fat, 200 milligrams of sodium, 9%, and 2 grams of total sugars. Okay, here you go. Always baked without artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives. Um, this was purchased on uh, December 26th, and it's good until January 5th, 2024, so it's not very long shelf life. That's like about 10 days or so. Always baked without artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives. No high fructose corn syrup. Net weight, 1 pound, 4 ounces, or 567 grams. Okay, same information there. And on the sides... Here we go. Farm to table grilled cheese. They have a recipe there if you want to make that. I'll let you read that if you want because, yeah, that's just if you want to make grilled cheese. That's not part of this bread. But they do have a recipe there. Here are the ingredients. Enriched wheat flour, which is flour, malted barley flour, reduced iron, niacine, thiamine, mononitrate, which is vitamin B1, riboflavin, which is vitamin B2, and folic acid, all right? Then there's water, sugar, yeast, vegetable oil, which is made from soybean. There's wheat gluten, sea salt, contains 0.5% or less of each of the following, cultured wheat, flour, soy, lecithin, citric acid, and grain vinegar, all right? Contains wheat and soy, so if you're allergic to those, then be careful. Made in a bakery that also uses milk, tree nuts, and sesame, and there's their, oh, it's made by Bimbo Bakeries as well. Okay, they have a QR code if you want to see more food information. And yeah, there's the UPC code. They have a phone number there. Okay, nutrition facts, 15 servings per container. Each serving is one slice. I don't know if they're including the buttons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, yeah, so they're including the buttons, which are smaller. Um, but yeah, serving size, one slice, 38 grams, uh, calories, 110, fat, 1.5 grams, 2%, no saturated fat, no trans fat, polyunsaturated fat, 0.5 grams, sorry, 0.5 grams, monounsaturated fat, uh, mono fat, 0 grams, uh, no cholesterol, there's 200 milligrams of sodium, 9%, carbs, 20 grams, 7%, fiber, less than 1 gram, 2%, sugars, uh, 2 grams, which includes 2 grams added sugar, 4%, so, yeah, 3 grams of protein, there is 1.1 milligrams of iron, 6%, 0.14 milligrams thiamine, uh, 10%, niacin, 1 milligram, 6%, calcium, 10 milligrams, not even 1%, potassium, 35 milligrams, not even 1%, riboflavin, 0.1 milligrams, 8%, and folate, 70 micrograms, DFE, 15%, 35 microgram folic acid. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. It has a little twist tie, so just make sure... You untwist it the right way, opens up, and we've got the bread here. I'm just going to take out two pieces so you can see the butt end and the actual. You can see it has this flour on top, which makes it hard to tell if there's mold. I don't know, um, but yeah, I guess it makes it seem fancier, the toast or the bread. Okay, this is what the bread looks like. It's pretty soft, okay, very crumbly. Mm. Has a nice chew to it.
Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. It's a nice um, generic loaf of bread. Nothing crazy or fancy about it. Nice soft texture and yeah. We're going to eat this um, with some Nutella. I already tore it off so we'll see. But I'm going to review some Nutella now. And then yeah, we'll eat it with this and you'll see it as part of the same video. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we toasted the bread now and we have some Nutella here. We've got this giant tub. Let's go ahead and just give it a try. Obviously, it will make it taste better. It's like putting candy on your bread. Mmm. Tasty. Yep. So there you go. Looks good. You can spread it on. It spreads on like peanut butter. Um, when it's warmer, it melts a bit. And yeah, pretty good. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.